Hello students, welcome to the first lesson of the mathematics and from today we will start our first lesson algebra of matrices. So let's see what we are going to learn through this lecture today. Today we will talk about the matrices. So first we will see what is a matrix, what we mean by a matrix. Then we will talk about some examples based on that matrix and then we will talk about order of the matrix. Later we will see how we can represent a matrix in the row and column form and how we can access the element of the matrix or how we represent the elements into the matrices. Then we will talk about the types of the matrices. Obviously there are lots of the types of the matrices. So we will discuss some properties and as well as some types of the matrices. So let's just start. Let's begin with what we mean by a matrix. So matrix basically is a representation. It's a row and column arrangement. It's the row and column arrangement of values. So when we arrange some values in row and column form and then we enclose that arrangement with the brackets within the brackets. So then that becomes a matrix. For example, let's say we have a few values. Let's say we have these values and uh, these values are enclosed within brackets and these are three, four, four and five. So we have two rows here. If you can see, we have two rows. This is uh, row number one with two values, three and four. And this is row number two with two values, four and five. So we have two rows in this and we also have two columns. If we see, this is column number one with values three and four. And this is column number two with values four and five. So basically we have arranged these four values in row and column format. And then we enclose this within the bracket. So this becomes a matrix. Let's see another example. You can see this is how many rows we have. We have two rows here, uh, the horizontal. This is one row and this is second row. And how many columns we have? We have one column in this. So this is a matrix with two rows and one column. Let's see another example. This is a matrix and how many uh, rows we have? We have one row and how many columns we have? We have three columns. So just see, this is column number one, this is column number two, and this is column number three. So in this matrix, we have one row and three columns. Let's talk about another example. So this is a big, bigger matrix where we have, let's say how many rows we have in this. We have row number one, then we have row number two, and then we have row number three. So we can see in this uh, matrix, we have three rows and how many columns we have. So let's see, this is column number one, then this is column number two, and this is column number three. So all of these you can see uh, contain some values. What are these values? Three, four, five, two, three, one, and so on. So all of these contain some values. These values are arranged in row and column form. So this is a row and these are the column forms. And then these are enclosed by brackets. So this is important. Every matrix is enclosed within these brackets. So then we call such type of representation as a matrix. So now let's see uh, what is the basically use, basic use of the matrices. You might have heard about the uh, simultaneous linear equation system. Yes. So the matrix is used to represent system of simultaneous linear equations. So now let me show you how this is uh, with the help of some example. So as I've already told you that the matrix is used to represent system of simultaneous linear equations. Let's say we have a system of simultaneous linear equations where the 2x plus 4y is equal to 0. This is equation 1 and then it's x minus 3y is equal to 0. So we have two equations. This is a system of linear equations with two equations and two variables. So this can be represented in matrices. How? Let's see. So for two equations and we will consider the uh, coefficient. So what is the coefficient of variable x here? This is 2. So we will pick 
in the first row this is 2 then what is the coefficient here with y this is plus 4 so we will take 4 then in the next equation equation number 2 what is the coefficient of x this is 1 and what is the coefficient of uh, this y this is minus of 3 so we will represent minus of 3 so you can see this system of equation is represented by this matrix so we represent it with let's say capital a so this capital a represents a matrix which is uh, indirectly representing this simultaneous linear equation let's understand this with one more example let us say we have a system of linear equations like 2x plus 3y plus z is equal to 0 and 4x plus 2y minus z is equal to 0. So here we have two equations and we have three variables. So let me create the matrix that will represent this system. So for the first equation the coefficient of x is 2 we will write here 2 then it's 3 so we'll write 3 then it's 1 we'll write 1 so the coefficients of first equation are written in the first row then coefficients of the second equations will be written in the second row so let's write so this is 4 uh, 2 and this is minus of 1 so this system of equation is represented by this matrix so this is the uh, basic representation of the matrix let's move further and let's talk about the order of the matrix order of the matrix basically is the row and column so when we say that there are m rows and n columns then we say that the order of the matrix is m cross n so the order of the matrix order of matrix is represented by the number of rows represented by number of rows cross number of columns number of columns so if in any matrix there are m rows and n columns then the order of that will be m cross n right so let's identify what is the order of this matrix so how many rows we have we have one and we have two rows and how many columns we have so the number of rows here is 2 and how many columns we have in this matrix 1 so this is 1 see vertically this is 2 and this is 3 so we have 3 columns here so this is C is 3 so what will be the order of this matrix the order will be 2 cross 3 right so it is written uh, like this 2 cross 3 so the order of this matrix is 2 cross 3 let's understand this with some more example let's say if we have a matrix with uh, these values now what will be the order of now what will be the order of this matrix so let's count the number of rows here uh, this is the row number one then row number two and row number three so we have three rows and let's count the number of columns so this is uh, column one column 2 and column 3 so we have three rows and we have three columns so the order of this matrix will be 3 cross 3 let's see one more example uh, with elements 2 1 3 9 and 4 0 so what will be the order of this matrix I hope you can identify this yes uh, we have a uh, 1 2 and 3 rows so this is 3 cross and we have two columns one and two columns column number one column number two so we have three cross two so the order of this matrix is three cross two now let's move further and talk about the element representation how we can represent the element of uh, the matrix uh, let me take some example for you and then we'll talk about how we identify or represent the element let me write one 3 by 3 matrix 3 by 3 matrix means a matrix with three rows and three columns so if uh, the matrix is something like uh, let's say if I take uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is a 3 by 3 matrix we had just seen 
the order of the matrix. So this is three by three, three rows and three columns. Uh, so we can see that, let me write the number of rows, this R. So this is row number one, this is row number two, and this is row number three. And if I write columns, so we can see this is column number one, this is column number two, and this is column number three. So I represent this with capital A. And each element of this matrix was represented by a small a with subscript i and j, where i is the index of row and j is the index of column. So for example, let's say if I want to represent this element 2. So how this element 2 will be represented? Uh, this 2 will be represented by A. So we have to identify that row number of this element. So this is in row number 1. So in place of I, we will write 1. In place of I, we will write 1. And then we need to identify the column number. So this is in column number 2. So in place of J, we will write here 2. So this is A, 1, 2. This is equal to 2. Right. Let me do it once again with another element. Let's say if I want to represent the element number 7. So this is A, I, J. What will be I for this 7? I means number of row. This is 3. So we'll write 3. And what is J? That is the number of column. So for 7, the column is first column. So this is 1. So this is A, 3, 1. So we have this is 7. I hope you have understood. Let me write uh, one more element. Uh, okay, do it in the other way. Let's say if I want to identify the element A of uh, 2, 3. So what is A of 2, 3? That means we need to go to row number 2 and then we need to go to column number 3. So this is row number 2 and column number 3. So the element is 6. So we can see that this is the element 6. So this is how we represent the elements of a matrix with the help of the index form. So till now we have uh, studied uh, what we mean by the matrix. Matrix basically is the uh, row and column arrangement of values that is enclosed by the brackets. Then we had seen some examples of the matrices. We had talked about the order of the matrix and we had also seen how we uh, represent the elements or how we uh, access the elements of the matrix. So the next is the types of the matrices. So we will discuss the types of the matrices. In today's lesson, we will talk about the first two and very common types of the matrices. <clears throat> the one is the row matrix. And the second is the column matrix. Remember, we will be taking this uh, types of the matrices for the further lessons. We will be learning more and more matrices into the coming lessons. But today we will talk about two types, row matrix and the column matrix. So it's very simple. From the name, we can see the row matrix is a matrix that contains a single row. So that means if we have a single row, so row matrix, which means a matrix with a single row, but any number of columns. That means the matrix, the matrix cannot have more than one row. For example, let's say if we write a matrix one, two, three, you can see this matrix has single row. So this is a row matrix. We don't care the number of columns. It could be one, two, three, four, and more, but a row matrix has to have a single row only. That means if I write a matrix one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will not be a row matrix because it has more than one row. So the row matrix is a matrix with single row. Similarly, column matrix, just oppose it to this. If a matrix with one column only, but many number of the rows, let's say if I write one, two, three. So let's see this matrix is having only one column and multiple rows. So this will be a column matrix. So for the column matrix, the matrix must have only one column. So if I write matrix something like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, will this be a column matrix? No, this will not be a column matrix 
because it is having more than one columns. So uh, to be very precise, the row matrix is a matrix with only one row and any number of columns. And the column matrix is a matrix with only one column and any number of rows. So this is the row matrix and column matrix. Let me write the examples uh, once again in front of this row matrix. So the example of row matrix will be one, two and three with one row only. And the example of the column matrix will be, uh, let's say two, four, five. So this is uh, with one column only. So that's it for the today's lecture. We will meet to the in the next lecture, in the next video. Till then, keep practicing. Thank you so much.